We welcome you to an historic night at the Ron Joy Stadium as it is officially opened tonight. Good evening, everyone. Ted Michaels along with former Marauders defensive coordinator Joe Sardo. And Joe, you, like everyone else that's either been or associated with McMaster University currently, very excited about tonight. Oh, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. For years and years, the coaches and fans and players have been waiting for this day, and what a fantastic facility to be in tonight. Now, from a recruiting standpoint, this beautiful stadium, the David Braley Athletic Center, off to our left, uh, has to be one of the selling points for a student athlete coming out of high school. Well, it sure does. This helps coaches, Ted, in recruiting. Uh, it helps in academically. Uh, just the whole ball of wax is, uh, is fantastic to have here. As you go out and the only way it becomes more and more competitive to try and get that top student athlete, these type of things help. It shows the administration is serious about student athletics. And just kudos go out to everybody involved, as we'll talk about more tonight. I mean, not only you talk about uh, Ron Joy Stadium here, there's the DeGroote School of Business, the DeGroote School of Medicine, uh, where they've attracted all kinds of uh, world-renowned uh, doctors and physicians. So McMaster is on the radar. They always have been from, uh, from a medical point of view in the university and, and now football and actually infrastructure for athletics is huge. Now let's talk, break down the numbers a little bit. This whole facility here, $54 million. The stadium itself, $23 million. The David Braley Athletic Center to our left, $30 million. Another million for alumni field behind us. Of that $54 million, we should emphasize, Joe, the students raised a lot of money. They basically put their money where their mouth was and they didn't have to. No, very unselfish too. A lot of the students had this referendum back when I was coaching in 2003 and 2001 was when the referendum occurred and a lot of those students who voted to put their money in didn't actually get a chance to participate and enjoy the fruits of, uh, of their labor and have this facility. So a very unselfish move by the, uh, the people back then for looking forward in the future of the university. It's a fantastic day and I'm so proud of uh, this new stadium, the Ron Joyce Stadium, what, it's, what it means to the university and to our student body and to our community. It's just fantastic. Coaches will tell you it's not the rain and it's not the wet, it's the wind that'll kill you. And uh, tonight, unlike last week in Waterloo with the swirling winds, no wind to speak about it. But of course, the rain may be an issue in the ball game as we progress. Well, it's a great branding for the university and, and our seriousness of purpose about fielding strong athletic teams. But it's much more than that. Not only will we attract great student athletes, but 70% of our student body use these facilities for recreational and inter intramural purposes. So the, the student experience is much more than just the classroom and the laboratories. Facilities like this are a great draw for our whole student body and a great attraction for the community. It helps to build the relationships with the community. They come here to watch our teams. They come here to participate. Their children come here to use the facilities. This is a great, great new facility for McMaster, for our students, and for the whole community of Hamilton. To our left, Joe, we have the David Braley Athletic Center. We have the Red Wilson Balcony, which is probably the best place in the entire stadium to watch the game. If you've seen the Braley Center at all, it's the balcony right next to the athletic complex, and it just it oversits uh, in the end zone. They've got the canopies up there tonight. They've got the reception room where Ron Joyce is here, and Roger Trawler ran into him briefly. Our friend Ed Minich is there. Ron Foxcroft, of course, Therese Quigley, a lot of prominent Hamiltonians. This is a big night for the university the only unfortunate part you wonder how much the rain is going to affect the crowd tonight because from what i understand the tickets are all sold well, i mean everyone was excited about coming out here tonight the rain uh, uh hopefully won't put too much of a damper on it if anything like we say it's going to help the marauders with uh, their short passing game and maybe take away the deep ball from ottawa and josh jacoby but ted as you alluded to both the alumni and donors and there's just everybody here tonight. The community's rallied around the university. They've rallied around this football team. And it's just, there's excitement in the air again. Well, this is a great day. It's a great day for McMaster. It's a great day for the community. Not only do we have a wonderful football stadium here named after a wonderful person, a courageous person, Ron Joyce, but we have the David Braley Athletic Center. And you know, it's been a long time coming. McMaster University had a dream about this 10 years ago. They told me about it five years ago, and they said, would you chair the fundraising cabinet? And, and what an honor that was to, to work with uh, Peter George, his team, uh, Roger, Trez Quigley, the hardest working athletic director in the country. And here we are today. A lot of people thought we wouldn't be here today, but we got this beautiful, beautiful Ron Joyce Stadium, and it's just fantastic. We're going to have the premier athletic facilities in all the country to go with the premier ath athletic program 
in all the country. So it's a, it's a great day for McMaster, great day for Hamilton, and of course today is Ron Joyce Day. Well, I think, I think unfortunately, the weather didn't work as well as we had hoped. But having said that, it's a very auspicious day. The stadium is absolutely beautiful. And and I, I hear we got a sellout crowd. It'll be interesting to see how devoted they are <laughs> when the rain keeps falling. But uh, having said that, it's a middle. And I think they've done a marvelous job of construction. I'm very proud of it. I really believe in McMaster. And I also believe because... The stadium is not only going to be used here for the Marauders, you know, team, team here, and, and the other sports, but it's also very much in, in, involved in the community with the high school teams and, and what have you. So there will be all kinds of people who get the opportunity to play in this marvelous stadium. And Ivor Wynn is wonderful, but it's huge, and you know, you, you get a s small crowd there, and it looks small, whereas here, it's a little more compact. I just really believe that the uh, McMaster Univer University and the, all the leadership that, that they've shown under well, Peter George and their whole management group have done such a tremendous job putting this into a world-class facility. And this is a little part of it, but the med school and, and of course, the, uh, all the other things we do here, they do here at McMaster, it's been... You know, I look at people like Mike DeGroote Sr. who donated, set a new benchmark, really. Um, they're a huge donation to the, uh, the Mike DeGroote School of Business. And, all, and I'm kind of proud to have my name along with Dave Braley and, and Mike DeGroote here. And, and, uh, so, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's all a very worthwhile thing. Hi, I'm Ted Michaels. I'm Joe Sardo. Joe, opening night here at Ron Joyce Stadium against the Ottawa GGs. We'll see if this is going to be a night. Remember, this is going to be a sensational night here on the campus of McMaster University. Historic night here on the campus of McMaster University. The national anthem has just been performed by the McMaster University Choir. They're uh, an offshoot of Divinity College, which of course is a big part of life here on the campus of McMaster University. A lot of uh, opening ceremonies coming up, actually standing at center field now. Uh, athletic Director Therese Quigley and then uh, Ron Foxcroft, who chaired the, the campaign to get this stadium and campaign built. In the middle there, of course, is Dr. Peter George, the president of McMaster University. We also have another pregame show guest, Roger Trull, uh, the vice president of University Advancement. And also on the far side to our left uh, is himself, Ron Joyce. And Joe, this is a big night for McMaster Marauder football. Interesting tonight, Foxcroft is going to hold the ball for the ceremonial kickoff for Peter George. Fox tells me Peter George has been working on this for five years. The rain has actually calmed down. Peter steps into it, uh, end over end, bounces at the 36-yard line. So unofficially, that's a 19-yard kickoff. But hey, he's an academic type, <laughs> right? opportunity to represent McMaster University and to be a part of this Marauder football family. May we play to the best of our ability today and may no one be seriously injured on either football team. Amen. 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 Step but one forward. We know where we're going. We know where we're going. The promise that we're making is no different. It is no different. Everything we got every single play until there's no time left on that clock. We got to get better in all three aspects of the football game. Offense, no offsides, no penalties, execute. Defense, fly around, make plays, stuff the run, keep everything in front of us. 